Hi, this is Aaron Esteban here, and in this video, I wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how to use the new Rank Tracker feature inside of eBay Keyword Sniper Pro. The Rank Tracker features enables you to quickly find your listings rankings positions within each page of eBay, which will help you keep track of whether your products are visible or not within the eBay search results pages. You can also use this new Rank Tracker feature to see where your competitors are ranking as well. It's very important that you're ranking well in the eBay search results pages so that you can generate more traffic or views, which ultimately lead to more sales for your items on eBay. This new feature will show you which pages and exactly which positions your products are ranking for any keywords and items you decide to test. So let's jump in and take a quick look to see how this new rank tracker feature can help you improve your overall rankings on eBay. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Rank Tracker by clicking this Rank Tracker button down here at the bottom. And the very first thing that you're going to want to do is enter in an item number for either your shop or a competitor's shop. But in this example, we're going to enter an item number from your shop. And the way that we can do that is we'll go ahead and go over to eBay first to start with. And I'm going to type in fishing. Here on the first page, is a, an item that uh, I would like to test. So you can see that it has an item number. Every product that you create, uh, as far as a listing goes, will generate an item number, okay? As shown here. And if uh, you're gonna try to test this out and you notice that you're not seeing any of the seller information here, like the item number, make sure you go right here where it says view, customize, and check off seller information and item number just make sure those check boxes are checked off and apply changes okay so we're going to take this item number right here we're going to pretend that this is our shop and this is a specific item that we're going to test in the ebay search engine we want to see where it's ranking as you can see uh for this particular item it is ranking on the very first page of ebay for fishing which is a very competitive search term by the way and you can see that they're in number one position Okay, so what I'll do is I'll come back to the software and I'm going to enter that item number in. Next, we're going to want to set the number of pages, how far we want to search into eBay to see where that product is uh, ranking. So by default, it is set to number 10. It's, that means it's going to go 10 pages deep into eBay and it's going to search each page to see where this item number is ranking at. So I also have a list of keywords. I'm going to go ahead and put those keywords into the software, paste them in there. And it's going to check 10 pages for each one of these keywords to see where this particular item is ranking at. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to press the play button. And like I said, it's going to go all the way to 10 pages, search each one of these keywords and let you know exactly where which position, or actually which page and then which position that this item is ranking at. So press play. And you can see that the software is very fast. It's letting you know exactly which keywords is searching and which page number that it's uh, currently searching. And it's gonna let you know whether it was able to find that product or not. If it doesn't find the product, it'll come back red like this. And as you can see, it's it says here in the results, it was not found, okay? So I'm going to let it go through and when it's done, I'm going to continue explaining exactly how to use this data to your Finish advantage. Checking all pages and positions. Okay. We got the robotic voice letting us know that it has finished and uh, let's take a look at the results. So here's the item number in the first column here. This is the one that we're testing. I went ahead and uh, it found on the first page for this particular item for fishing, it is in number one position, okay? And it went to the next keyword in queue, which was fishing lures, as you can see here. And it found this product on the first page and in second position. So how do we know that that's accurate? How do we know that it's true? Well, we can also right click where it says find item on page right here. And we can open this to see exactly where that particular item is showing up. And as you can see, here it is right here on the first page for fishing lures and it's in second position okay so here's that item number again here's the same exact item so 
you can see that it's very accurate. It's doing its job. Uh, it was not able to find this item within the 10 pages that it searched. So if it doesn't find it, like I said, it's going to show that it was not found on the page and was it did not find any position for it. Okay, so the same thing happened for bait hooks, which was next in queue. Wasn't able to find that out of the 10 pages, but it was able to find on the first page and in the first position for minnow hooks, which is a very good thing. Now, the software is going to give you different colors to let you know whether your uh, positions are good positions, um, if you're doing well, and if they're not, like I said, they'll show up as red, letting you know that you need to work on these specific keywords so that way you can improve your overall rankings for those particular keywords, okay? So when you're done, you'll be able to save everything to a report, uh, so that way... Oh, uh, oh, let me show you one other thing before we save it to a report. You can see right over here to the far right, it shows you the time and the date that you actually uh, check this particular item. So that way, if you save this to a report, you'll be able to keep track of whether this item has either consistently improved for keywords or if it has actually regressed. So that's exactly what this column is going to let you know as, as far as when you actually went and checked the particular item and uh, you'll always be able to keep track in these reports each time that you export a new report. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to click this uh, save icon here and I'm going to click save again. And as you can see, when this opens up in your default web browser, it's going to show you the report for this particular item. Okay, and as you can see, uh, it says rank tracker report for item number, and it has the item number that you that you specifically targeted. It shows you how many uh, keywords that you've tried to search here, and uh, it shows you the date and time of when this report was created. Okay, you do have a search filter here if you want to just uh, search for specific keywords. Maybe you've targeted many many keywords and you wanted to go through them later on to see exactly uh, where your rankings are for each one of these items. So you'll be able to use a search. Uh, I'll just give you a quick example. Let's say um, fishing hooks. See, as you can see now, it would specifically show you that particular keyword there. And let's go ahead and do one more example. Let's say that uh, you want to see the ones that you're not doing so well on. you would type in bad ranking. Okay, so now it just shows you the uh, the ones that you need work on and um, you can also right click if you say you want to save this report the way that it is you can right click click save as there's usually an option in your default web browser to save this page as it is and uh, we'll go ahead and put it in the same folder again as eBay keyword sniper pro and click on reports and hit uh, save again click yes and now when we go back to the report in your products report folder um, oh here it is right here sorry about that click it and open it and you can see now that your report is has been saved the way that you last made uh, the way that you last edited it so if we Erase this here. You can see that all your results come came back to the way that it was when you first exported it. Okay, and this is the way that it looks now after you've saved it. Okay, so that's pretty much how the rank tracker works. It's very easy to understand. It's very easy to use. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, you could always send me an email uh, for any kind of technical support or any questions you may have in regards to the any of the features on the software. So send me an email at eBay keyword sniper pro at gmail.com if you have any questions. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the latest information about eBay SEO, how to uh, improve your overall sales, how to find drop shippers and things like that. So this, this channel is dedicated to helping eBay sellers improve with all aspects of their uh, eBay shop. Okay. So Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.